Hello everyone, this is Ron again with Strangely Normal, and this week, as you can see, I'm taking a look at Time Splitters. Uh, this is a classic game from the PS2 era that pretty much anybody watching should be familiar with, but uh, in case you're not, for some strange reason, uh, Time Splitters is uh, an FPS that um, has you going through different time periods and shooting stuff up. We're going to get into this here. Uh, I'm going to load my... Load my profile here real quick. But this game was developed by Free Radical and published by IDOS. Um, and essentially it's it's classic FPS. Uh, it's very simple to play. Very simple to get into. Um, these story missions is basically you just go into different eras in history and uh, essentially you just go and issue a bunch of guys. I'm gonna go to 1935. We're gonna go here and it has all these weapons from different areas and things like that. And you choose a character, which is a male or female, um, and then you get into it. And most of the levels involve you uh, going, going through, finding something, and shooting a bunch of stuff up. Um, one another very big thing about this is that this game had a level editor, and you could make levels, place weapons, things like that. Which at the time when this game came out, about 2000, was a very big deal and was almost unheard of. And um, Let's see, now we're in in here, so I'm gonna get started. I've got this pistol, and uh. So I'm in this right now, and basically, the entire game is you just go through and shoot guys. Um. Oddly enough, um, there isn't like any jumping or anything, uh, it's just you just run around, uh, twin sticks. With, uh, you, you just run around with period specific weapons and shoot guys, find what you need to find. Let's see what I need to find in this one. Find the cultist Ankh, okay. So let's see if I can do this here. And uh, the thing with this game is like everything had this like sort of like cartoony kind of style to it and that, re that really lent itself well. I was just checking some things out about that gun. All the weapons in this game have have uh, alternate and primary fires. For some weapons, it's just between like a slower firing and fast firing mode, and then for other ones, it's drastically different. Now let's see if I can do this here. Oh, I'm getting shot at. Ooh, a Tommy gun. That's good. That's good. Oh, okay. What's down here? Oh, I got the arm. Uh, okay, once you see, see every every level you have to get some item, and then um, after you get the item, you have to leave, and then and then and then these enemies start teleporting in. These are the time splitters, and uh, these are the series main protagonists. Basically. Basically, um, these guys are going throughout human history and messing things up, and your characters have to have to uh, stop them from messing things up. It's not letting me go past that guy. There we go. Trying to get out of here. Hmm, let's see if I remember the way out. But there's all sorts of different just eras of history, from the past to things like the future. I'm gonna try and get out of here, and then maybe go to. They even have like present day ones, um, and there were some sequels. Uh, the most, the most recent one that was made was. Um, Time Plotter's Future Perfect um, on the Xbox. I had that. That game is so much fun. Uh, you can clearly tell where they took this series. And a uh, very similar vein. Very similar vein where you, where you go through different eras and do stuff. What's this? Oh, health. I need that. Okay. One thing, though, is these maps are basically like mazes, which can be annoying when like you're just trying to get out, but uh, all in all it's not too bad because uh, you, you move around fairly quickly, so. Here we go. And 
And uh, this game has a very, very generous sort of auto-aim on it. Which is what helps keep it being so much fun, because you can just hop in with some basic controls. And turn to the shrine. Oh, well, apparently that's not where I need to go. Oh, this is it. Yeah, and then there's just some stats. And uh, basically by completing levels you unlock more eras. Um, we're gonna let this load here and I'm gonna go to another one. I think I'm gonna try and do maybe like a future one or something like that. Um, and as you can see, uh, it's very fast. And you unlock a lot of things. I think I'll do one more story level. And then I will do just a quick multiplayer match. I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do this future one just because uh, it's kind of funny because it says the year is 2005 and uh, we're in 2012 right now and um, it's funny because like it's like this is all like sci-fi and futuristic and stuff and uh, clearly did not actually turn out that way but it's always funny to see these sort of things so we're gonna let this load here unfortunately with this game that is one thing that is um, a bit of a a bit of a Bit of a pain is the load times are long, um, but came out in 2000 and uh, the game still looks decent and it uh, still plays pretty well. Um, its style really actually lends itself well to aging because it doesn't try to be too realistic. It just tries to be just its own thing and uh, it really helps it to be fun and interesting even. Let's see. Oh yeah, this pistol has ricocheting bullets. Oh, uh, let's see here. And these enemy designs are actually really interesting, um, just because um, they're period specific and they're like cy- it looks like all sorts of things, there's like cyborgs and mummies as you saw in the last one, there's even like crime guys and stuff. Like everything has this sort of like cartoony feel to it. Well, wow, both, those, both those enemies died exactly the same way. Okay. Oh, I'll quit out of that. Let's let's head into the multiplayer here. Now I can't do this with any other person because it's just me. But I can get a bunch of bots loaded up and just kind of show it off. Um, this is where this game really kind of came into its own. Was um, with with the multiplayer, um, just absolutely just great multiplayer. There's a deathmatch, back tech knockout, let's, let's just do, I'll just do a deathmatch, and see this is where the, 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 actually no, let's not worry about that, that, that's where the custom maps are. I'm just gonna do this, we're gonna do it in the Chinese because, um, we didn't actually play it there. And, uh, let's see here. Based on the time, I'll do a quick five minute death match. See, and then this was one thing that's interesting, like, kills losses, like, that basically means if you kill, you score points, if you die, you lose points. Just do kills. Let's have no score limit, because this is... Let's have team play. Team death match is always a lot of fun. Yeah, see, just just all sorts of stuff, and then you can do. Yeah, we'll just leave it at that. See, and then there's all these different weapon sets. Let's see here.
I'm just gonna try and fight. I'm just gonna try and essentially... I'll just do this one. Looks like it's pretty much um, modern sort of stuff here. So we'll go with that. And then... So, yeah, let's see here. Uh, this is one where there were a bunch of teams. Actually, you know what? Let's let's uh, let's turn all these bots on just to make this like a hectic match. And then we're gonna have everyone be red or blue. Now I'm gonna actually. And then we'll just leave, we'll just leave them. They can choose their difficulty. I'll leave them all on that. Okay, now I just want to... Okay, we'll start here. And I can choose my character. All these different ones that I can play as. Ah, here we go. I will play as a cultist. I'll just be on the red team. And, uh, basically, these multiplayer matches are just, like, so hectic, so much fun. Um, once it's finished loading up, we'll, we'll see. It's just, it, just everywhere, just so many guys shooting on different sides, and, and you can really kind of see, like, where at least some of the modern stylings of current uh, deathmatch kind of came from just just in how um, how it plays and how fast it really is. But let's wait for this to finish loading here. All right, looks like we're started. I started off with two pistols. Now I just need to find guys and kill them. Oh, there's some body armor. See. Yeah, this multiplayer, it's just... As long as I make sure I... Yeah, see, it's basically just... Just guys all over the place. I got that radar up there, I should probably use that, so let's get that going. Yeah, see, generally in this... Don't know why that guy didn't get out of his gun and... Now, see, this map was a little bit more cramped, so, uh, you're not seeing some of the... Oh, let's go with all these guys. But, yeah, basically, all, and all the levels you do multiplayer on are levels that you can do in story mode. So, you know, there is that. But I remember back when these games were uh, really popular. Um, you know, all the people, you know, all the stuff over doing the deathmatch and uh, the custom maps. Like this game was easily uh, like like the biggest sort of like multiplayer phenomenon since like GoldenEye at the time. It was just so much fun to get a couple friends together and do this.
I mean, nowadays this multiplayer hasn't aged quite as well um, with online play and all that, but it's still not too bad, and yeah, it's still very fast-paced and just kind of. Let's see if I can actually find some guys to kill here. Hmm, got some body armor, that's, that's handy. Oh, this radar isn't... Oh, that guy just came up and shot me in the face. Oh, one minute left. Oh, jeez. Got me again. Let's finish this up here. And the settings in these games are actually always at least kind of neat, because, I mean, just right off the bat, nothing really unlocked. You know, three options right there. You know, I can. I could either go to the past in a tomb, I could do like a present era sort of thing, or a. Um, or a future thing. Well, that's the end of the match there. Um, looks like my team really kind of crush things. And there's like awards. I don't know what that, it says AC minus 10. Don't know. But, uh, yep. So that was that. Um, I will, uh, we'll get back to the title screen here and then end this, but, uh, that's pretty much, that's pretty much Time Splitters. Um, it's a great game, great, uh, great series. Um, never, never made the leap to, uh, the current generation. So that's why it faded away, which is too bad. Um, it's a very fun game, very fun series. If you get the chance, uh, I would definitely suggest going back and uh, and checking it out. So uh, that is it for this week's episode of Strangely Normal. Um, as usual, if you like the video, like the video, comment, all that stuff. It's always appreciated. So uh, thank you once again, and I will see all of you uh, next week.